right, so I guess I'll kick yeah, it off. Come on down, sure. Caleb. Come on in. All right, so here we've got a great, uh, this is a great example of how you can take color can intensity and actually use this on a more commercial friendly side. All right, if any of you were here yesterday during our color presentation or have been to the booth, you've heard a little bit of the conversation that we've had about Michaela. But what we did was we started first, same way that we have to anytime we're going to use a fashion shade, right? So we started with the pre-lightening using Blonde Life in 10 volume. Everything was done doing a backcomb balayage technique. I demonstrated that in a, in a private class that I did with my brother on Saturday. And uh, we didn't do anything else. We didn't implement a shadow root. We didn't do anything. That's exactly how it came out. So it diffuses the root quite nicely. And then all we did was go with an intensity overlay. No toning, no anything else after that. The formula for her is my go-to rose gold formula. So if you want to write it down, uh, it was up there, but I'll give it to you again. Here we go. <laughs> it's mauve quartz, rose, and those two are to be mixed at equal parts. And then bronze is going to be your determining factor based on the level that she lifts to. So if she lifts to only about a level 7, 8, then you're going to go with more bronze because it's going to be a deeper color, right? So you're going to want that more, a little bit more warmth to anchor into that deeper orangey tone that you're going to lift to. And then that's going to give you more of like a golden rose. And then through the mids and ends, if it was a little bit lighter like what we had here, I went with less bronze and I actually just added in clear to the exact same formula. And we get like more of a dusty rose gold through the ends. So again, this is just a great example of how we could use those intensities for those clients who really want to get in there, but they are a little bit afraid of it. Maybe they work in a bank or in a professional setting or a school, and they think that they're going to get in trouble. This is the perfect gateway, right? You get them in with this, get them hooked, and then all of a sudden they're getting a little purple underneath here, a little pink on this side, a little <laughs> yellow line on the front. No, probably not the yellow line. But you see where it's going. Eventually, they'll start having some fun, and then who knows where it goes from there. This is a great service to do as well because it's a premium cost. A lot of people think that, oh, it's just quick and easy to do the intensities. They don't process very long. But what they don't factor in the first half, right, that pre-lightening, and then you're, you're, you're custom formulating, and then you're, you're doing a color melt on top of that. So here we're always doing a double process, which is driving our ticket cost up, and you're custom formulating, again, driving that ticket cost up because it's not just squeezing it out of a tube. You're doing something that's unique, that's going to be custom to you, that they're not going to be able to get somewhere else. So something like this, I charge quite a bit, and the clients just keep on coming for it because, again, they can't go anywhere else to get it done, right? So this is our example of the intensity version of a soft red for you guys to see. Thanks, Michaela. Hannah. <laughs> Go down, my dear, and take a spin for them. Do we love Hannah's color? Oh. To add on to what Zoe said about eye color and skin tone, I know it's hard not to look at her hair. Look at her skin. It's screaming to make her a soft copper ginger, not a screaming copper, not anything cool. She needs to stay warm. I love it. Yeah. It's, I don't want to say it's one of my favorites because I do love all of the models. <laughs> Isn't your daughter a model? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, okay, enough of that, right? Let me tell you what we did with Hannah. Uh, we with used something fantastic and new. If you haven't already heard, Joyco just launched a new product called LumaShine DD Cream. It is a deposit-only alkaline-based color, launched May 1st, and it is my to-go-to tool. Um, and with Hannah, this is what we did for her retouch area. Take a look. She was already blessed with a soft gold naturally at about a level six, seven. So what we did was we went ahead and used the LumaShine DD cream. I was looking for deposit only. And on her root area, I did a root shadow of 8NRG. You guys understand where the root shadow is. I'm pushing it down the shaft of the hair. The back of the head, we went down maybe three to five inches. Once we got closer to the front frame, maybe one to two inches following the curvature of the head, the bend of the head. Once I did that root shadow for the entire scalp application, I then went ahead and mixed in two different bowls. I still stayed with my LumaShine DD cream. I had six NRG with five vol in one bowl, and one ounce in the next bowl was eight NRG. I didn't use 5NRG on this paper, on this um, chart that you guys see. So if you're jotting that down, just take the five out. 
And I'll explain really quickly on why and why I would not. So five and below is in the brown series, six and above is in the blonde series. If I put a brown in there, it's gonna, right, you get it? So it's only six NRG in the one bowl with five vol. In the second bowl, it was eight NRG. I started incorporating more depth within the bottom nape area. I also worked on very strong slices. I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see it. Look straight ahead, Hannah. I worked it through the strand of the hair and then tilt down just a touch for me, my dear. Do you guys see it? Her dimension was done on very thick, thatchy pieces. None of the dimension was really ran through the ends. Um, it was already beautiful. I love this. Uh, I would say maybe about 25% of her hair, we did a little bit of blonde life and 10 vol just to create a little bit of lightness. We moved it about two levels, keeping some warmth in there. I also did a little bit of an intensity. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> we incorporated some peach right around Hannah's front frame just to give it a little character, right? A little fun pop. Could we add a stronger piece if we wanted to? Absolutely. Find out what personality your client has and incorporate that intensity into your overall look. Once everything was processed, we glazed the entire head with 10 NC Lumashine liquid. I wanted to just put a sheer gloss over the entire canvas of the hair. Think about what I did, guys. I only reached for a product that was going to deposit, not create lift. And I reached for two different tools. The new Lumashine DD cream is very solid but reflective, so I used that for her root shadow and her dimension. Then I glossed the entire canvas with the Lumashine liquid. Why? For the shine. Um, it, it's kind of it's tone, but you can see through it. I'm not going to erase everything that I created. Do you guys love it? Yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs>